Welcome back to Elevation 44. It's your girl B. If you're new to the channel, and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, family. Today, I'm diving into a topic that we just recently talked about on Clubhouse in our club as above, so below. If you are on Clubhouse, please tap into the club because we have some real good conversations around astrology and then also other things like spirituality and synchronicities and numerology and all kinds of stuff, okay? So we are diving deep um, in that um, club and just sharing and learning and growing and ascending together, which is what this whole thing is about, okay? So the topic that we recently talked about in um, this club was about Mercury retrograde. Now, I know we're about, um, I wanna say halfway through probably this Mercury retrograde, and I thought it would be good for us to just talk about how Mercury retrogrades affect you personally. So this is going to be a timeless video that you can refer to during any Mercury retrograde because this is always going to apply, okay? So what we're gonna talk about today is how Mercury retrograding, okay, which is, which we'll discuss in a second what a retrograde is, but how Mercury retrograding through a house affects you personally. What are the things that you can, um, you're going to encounter as a challenge and what ways can you capitalize on this energy? What can you do during this time, okay? So Mercury is the fastest moving planet in our solar system. It is uh, the planet that governs our thinking and our communication, so how we process information and how we communicate our thoughts and things to each other, right? So uh, Mercury is like really just booking it and going through the zodiac, it is going, going, gone, okay? But every once in a while, Mercury stops, okay, and turns back, okay, to retrace its steps and go back to revisit things. So when you talk about a retrograde, you say re. So you have that re, and then you have all the re words, the, re -pre the prefixes that come along with that. Like rediscover, reflect, rest, renew, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, did I say reflect already? Um, you know, regenerate, um, rediscover. Like it's all about, you know, going back and retracing those steps to see things or to 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 not only see things that you may have missed but to also just tie up all the loose ends that are still hanging so mercury retrogrades get a bad rap um because they send things i mean mercury is the planet um again that is, is associated with um a, you know communication and thinking so it always sends uh, or scrambles our communication signals. You know, it has a wonky thing with um, technology, sending technology and our travel plans haywire. And then we got people just popping up out of the woodwork that we haven't talked to in a long time. And it's just like, where did this person come from? So yes, there's a lot that goes on with a Mercury retrograde, but if you can see the blessings and know how to work with the energy, you can use it to your benefit or to your advantage, okay? So I always want to make sure that you have this information so that you know what to do during this energy. Now, now that I've uh, kind of introed what a Mercury retrograde, um, you know, gift is to us, even though we have challenges, let's talk about what it means when it's transiting each house. And what you want to do is whatever Mercury, um, whatever sign Mercury is retrograding in, you want to look at your natal and transit chart, right, to figure out what sign, um, where that sign is on your own particular chart, and what house that rules, right? So I always leave a link to the natal and transit chart down in the description box that you can reference, and you're going to look, so if, like, let's say Mercury is happening, um, the rush rate is happening in the sign of Libra. You're gonna look at your chart, find where Libra is on your chart and see what house Libra rules. And that's where Mercury will be retrograding through. And then you would be able to reference this information. So I hope that makes sense to you all. Okay, let's get into the houses. All right, the first house. When Mercury is retrograding through the first house, the first house is all about the self. This is the house of self, okay? So what are some challenges we can encounter 
with Mercury retrograding through the first house. This is all about delays in your plans, your own personal plans and goals, okay? So how do we turn this around and use this to our advantage, all right? This is literally an opportunity to review or renew your personal goals and plans. Also, to refresh your appearance, to reflect on your own personality and how you project yourself out into the world. So this is really good time for reinvention of self, all right? Working on self and reinventing self in those ways, right? And that is literally how you should use this energy if it is transiting your first house. Because if you are going to focus on the delays and the frustrations and the things that are not pushing forward in your goals, you're going to literally frustrate yourself and waste out your energy and not see the blessing of this particular transit, which is a chance to review, to renew those goals and to reinvent self, okay? So that is my advice for anyone having mercury retrograding through their first house through the second house now okay so this is the house the second house is associated with our material possessions our which obviously includes our wealth and our money spending habits are also highlighted here our personal values and also what we find pleasure in okay so what are some of the issues that can pop up with this house? This is definitely a time when Mercury retrogrades here that money issues pop up. Self-value issues and money issues are really the focus here, okay? So how do we use this energy to our advantage? This is a time to review and revisit your finances or your budget, okay? So making a financial management plan, okay? Taking into account your spending habits and course correcting what you need to course correct financially, okay? So this is a time for you to also realign your personal values um, to make sure that you're on the right track and you're headed in the right direction, okay? This is also an opportunity to rediscover or reimagine what brings you pleasure okay so those are the areas that you can focus on and 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 really you know get some gains with a mercury retrograde in the second house mercury retrograde in the third house okay so this is a mercury ruled house which means if mercury is retrograding this mercury ruled house you're going to feel it you know more <laughs> this is going to be more that retrograde is going to have more of an impact on you okay so this third house is all about our communication and our learning okay this is also about short distance travel and our neighborhood and community and our relationship with siblings so these are the things that the third house highlights what is the um challenge here with the mercury retrograde through the third house it's all about communication mix-ups okay so this is when that communication really just goes like haywire and wonky on top of the general communication mix-ups okay so this is an opportunity for a, you to revisit anything you were previously um interested in like in terms of you starting to learn something new um also the same for any like wrapping up any correspondence or writing projects or communications projects that you had previously started or anything that needs to be completed in that aspect. Also, this is great for uh, inwardly reflection on your thoughts and how you communicate. This is a chance to rediscover what's in your backyard. So in your local community, just rediscover what's in your area, okay? And this is a great time for you to reconnect with your siblings, okay? so. This is what you should use the retrograde for in the third house. Now, moving on to the fourth house, which is about your home, your family, your ancestors, okay? The issue that really pops up here with the Mercury retrograde is issues around the home and immediate family. So those physical home issues can pop up as well as your relational home issues, okay, can pop up. So this is um, a time for you to address any repairs needed around the house, okay? So this is great for cleaning, redecorating, and just, you know, getting rid of things and, and, and organizing your space. This is a great time for you also to reconnect with your family members, your immediate family members, and more specifically, your parents. Um, so checking in on them, making sure they're good, because I know life gets busy, all right? And then also, this is a great time for you to connect with your ancestors. So if you don't have a relationship with your ancestors, 
you've been thinking about putting together an ancestral altar or something like that, this would be a good time for you to do so. Also, it's a great time for you to just learn about your heritage in general. So this is what you can focus on when Mercury is retrograding through the fourth house. All right. So moving on to the fifth house, okay, and the fifth house is our romance, our creativity, our fun. It's also the house of children, okay? So one of the issues that can pop up with Mercury retrograding in this house is that old flings, those, you know, those flings, not those deep relationships that you had, you know, or those deep partnerships. It's more of those little, you know, flings that that you know that little quick thing is coming back around and popping up so i would uh, avoid that if you know you don't want to go back down that road because if it ended for a reason it ended for a reason but um this is a great time for you to reignite a creative passion so it's a great time to spend more time getting creative or discovering a, a creative outlet that is personal and fun to you you know get some fun back in your life okay Sixth house, Mercury retrograding through the sixth house is another interesting one because the sixth house is also another Mercury ruled house. So you're definitely going to feel it doubly in this area. So the um, sixth house is all about our daily routines, our health, how we work. Um, so the issues that pop up here with Mercury retrograde in the sixth house is issues in our daily routines and our work environments, okay? So this, this is going to require a lot of patience because this is the one that gets on people's nerves the most, I see. All right, so it could be very frustrating, but this is also giving you a chance to review your current routines and um, thinking of new ways to improve them, right? It's also great for reassessing your work environment and making sure it supports what you need. Reorganization is great under this um, particular house. Also, reevaluating your health. Do you need more sleep? Do you need more water? Do you need to eat on time? So, you know, vitamins. So just really taking it easy and reassessing like where you are in internally. Are you, are you good? Are you really good? So those are the, um, the areas that you can really focus on with Mercury retrograding through the six, okay? Now, Mercury retrograding through the seventh house is the house of intimate relationships and also our business partnerships, okay? So what can pop up here is another annoying one, which is relationship issues. And this is the old exes pop up energy. Like this is like, I ain't heard from my ex in like eight years and boom, like all of a sudden you get an email, you get a text message, you get a DM and you're like, what? Say what? No, 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 no. Okay, so this also can create, if you are in a current relationship, misunderstandings, okay? So this is also one that's just kind of finicky um, and really tricky to navigate. But don't fall for that old, the old X pop up. I'm telling you, if it ended for a reason, it ended for a reason, okay? If you don't want to open that door, don't open that door, <laughs> okay? So with this energy though in the seventh house mercury retrograding here this is also just a good time like in your intimate relationships to air out any grievances those are relationships that are salvable or saving that you you know you're still in or whatever you want to air out any grievances heal things and be able to move forward so that's how you can use the retrograde in the seventh house the eighth house okay this is the house of transformation um so it's about sex, it's about shared resources, debts, you know, so this is the house where if your Mercury is retrograding through your eighth house, you can see old bills pop up, all these old debts, taxes, bills, all kinds of things popping up out of the world. You're like, what? Say what? Where did this come from? Okay. So, and issues with other people's money. Okay. So those are the things that may be popping up you might just be getting random bills in the mail and all kinds of stuff you owe this you owe that or somebody coming to you about some money issue all right so this is a very important time if you can to avoid entering new contracts with others okay because it's likely to have to be rewritten or something is going to go left as soon as mercury <laughs> goes direct again so um i would avoid it if uh, possible also this is just really a good time to kind of 
make a plan on how to pay off those debts or paying off those debts, right? And to review and discuss any shared resources that you have with someone. This is also a good time, time for inner reinvention through a good transformation process, internal transformation process, because again, the eighth house is all about that transformative energy. And then it's great for reinventing or renewing your sex life, which can be fun if you are under the right relationship with the right person and you got that freedom and space to do that, okay? So that is uh, Mercury retrograding in the eighth house. Now on to the ninth house. This is the house of higher learning, philosophy, faith, long distance travel. So this usually creates issues with our travel plans. And a lot of us aren't having that issue right now because a lot of people aren't traveling right now. So, but when we start, you know, traveling again, again, this is a timeless video, you're going to definitely want to reference this um, because it does throw those travel plans, um, you know, throw a wrench in those travel plans sometimes. Okay. So with this, um, you know, Mercury transit in the ninth house, it's great to focus on inner reflection of your faith and your beliefs, you know, what you consider truth, um, what is your truth, what is the truth, you know, it's also great for reflecting on what you have learned and how you're applying it, because what is wisdom is knowledge applied. So how, are, are you wise at this point? Are you applying that knowledge you have amassed, right? This is also great for cultural discovery and tapping into new cultures and different things that you can even implement in your own life, all right? So let's get on to the 10th house, which is another big house for a lot of people. And the 10th house is really about our career and our public image. So when Mercury is retrograding through the 10th house, the issues that tend to pop up here are around our work and our public image or our public life, okay? So this is another one that just rubs people the wrong way, okay? So this is, um, it's, you know, one of those houses that you definitely, when Mercury is retrograding here, you have to be careful how you communicate publicly, you know? Think about that tweet before you tweet it, you know? Think about that post before you put it up, okay? So you definitely wanna watch that. You can also have a lot of issues with your supervisors or people in charge in the workplace or anything like that. Um, you know, this is a time where you're best um, to rediscover your like, just tapping into old skills that can help you like rediscovering your old skills, your gifts, your talents, do whatever you need to, in order to, you know, kind of it help you or advance you forward. So just kind of retapping into your own things and kind of you know, staying away from everything else will definitely help you out with a transit in the 10th house. Um, moving on to the 11th house, okay? And the 11th house uh, rules our friends, our acquaintances, our collaborations, technology, our wishes, our like objectives. Okay, so the issue, the main issue that can um, prop up crop up here <laughs> when mercury is retrograding the 11th house is issues with your friends and uh, your networks you know so you can find you know dissension amongst your friend group or your network or whatever kind of group that you're a part of okay so this is a great time for you to review your networks and your friendships are they serving you or they're not serving you you know what i mean do you need to take a different path okay so that is um, something that you should definitely uh, focus on. Also reviewing your overall goals um, and what are you working to manifest? So just kind of reviewing all of that, reflecting on all of that, okay? Um, and then the last house we are going to talk about with the Mercury retrograding is the 12th house. And this is the house that is very tricky um, because it is the most mysterious house. It is the house of your subconscious mind and also spirituality and some other stuff, but it's just the most, um, it's just, the, it's, it, it really is the house that is just the most, this is the hardest to decode because there's just so much going on there and it's really mostly unconscious. Um, so like it's on a subconscious or unconscious level, which is kind of hard to pinpoint, right? So with um, this uh, Mercury, with it transiting the 12th house, the issue that can pop up here is really issues of the subconscious mind, your subconscious thoughts coming up to the forefront. This can be a blessing because this also helps you bring things to the surface that 
are sabotaging that can be sabotaging you that you didn't even realize okay so this can actually be a really really good thing um so this is a great time for you know inner like just having uh, awareness um self-awareness reflecting on your inner voice your spiritual beliefs um also being able to address karmic issues and reflecting on how um your intuition guides you are you paying attention and tapping into your intuition are you ignoring it you know that type of thing so that is definitely the focus if mercury is retrograding through your 12th house how you can turn that energy around and um, capitalize on it okay so that is all that i have for you all 12 houses i feel like i've been talking forever um let me know in the comments down below is this helpful to you i tried to make it as short and sweet and to the point for each house as possible but definitely they could definitely be expanded on in so many different ways and this video can be very long if we really dived into all of it so um this will definitely give you a you know overview on how you can use mercury retrograde to your advantage and what to expect too when mercury is retrograding through certain houses okay so i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you all in the next one peace